This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. Black-haired American Max Bear started odds on favourite against the British and Empire heavyweight title holder. But in the first round at Haringey, it was obvious he wasn't going to have things all his own way. Tommy Farr, wearing striped shorts, was giving away nearly a stone in weight and quite a piece of height. But all the punches Bear gave him, he gave back with interest. The man from Wales scored repeatedly with his left. The end of round one found Bear with a damaged eye, blood on face and chest, and confidence shaken by a rude surprise. Bear scored at the infighting, but at the long-range shooting, Farr was all on top. When Farr took his titles from Ford, he was dull and feeble. Tonight, he was a man inspired, and he gave the crowd a thrill a second. He was twice the boxer and four times the fighter. Round six, Farr still scoring heavily, although at close range it was always Bear who got home. Round seven, the Welshman's left eye was damaged now, but he was still fighting like a real champion. Rounds eight and nine were uneventful until the end of the ninth when nobody heard the gong. The seconds came crowding into the ring while the men were still hard at it. Farr was winning. And as Maxi went back to his corner at the end of round 10, he shook the head of a loser. Both made a terrific effort in round 11, for the fight was for 12 rounds only. Max Bear was beaten on not a little days, a grand fight, but Tommy Farr always one jump ahead and the crowd went crazy. Maxi was alternately light-hearted and grim, Farr was doing a job of work, and doing it well. <laughs> round 12, the last round, a good-tempered hug, and then at it again. Hammer and tongs, they went into a mixer. Here was a British champion we could all be proud of. And that's how Tommy Farr defeated Max Bear by a bucket full of points. Thank <laughs> you.